Hello everyone, welcome back to a monthly favourites video. I'm going to talk you through 10 items that I've currently been loving and using throughout the whole month and just kind of talk you through why I've been using it, why I love it and of course we'll have all the links in the description box below. So to start things off, I am loving my grey New Balance trainers at the moment. They are the 574s in a really nice grey colour. They've got a little bit of a... Um, the N on the sides, like kind of metallic, which I quite like. I really love the different shades of grey with the white laces. I think they're just quite a nice alternative to, you know, your bog standard white trainer. Um, they're so comfortable as well. Honestly, like, I don't think I'm ever gonna go off New Balance trainers. I love them so much. I kind of got hooked on them, I wanna say spring last year, um, is when I got my first pair, and then I've just been buying more ever since so i've now got three new balance trainers in total but yeah i love these i also got these in a size five which is my true size um i've never had to size down for new balance trainers i know some people size up or size down but i've never had to i've always stuck to my true size and they've always fit perfectly next item is my lexola glasses i i feel like i may have featured these in a previous monthly favorites i genuinely cannot remember but I thought I'm going to feature them again because I do honestly love them and I pick them up nearly every day every time I go out and I just wear them because I, I really do love them um I've got the tortoiseshell lens no the tortoiseshell frames with the yellow lenses um I think they're called Geordie they're called the Geordie ones um I just think they're really cool um but yeah they're just so comfortable and they just feel like really nice sunglasses um okay so then for the last kind of like fashion-y favorite it is the cos orange bag i am obsessed as soon as i saw it online i instantly fell in love and i was like that is stunning the color is beautiful I just think for spring and summer it's absolutely gorgeous. Even in like autumn and winter, I know I'm still gonna wear it because it's just a really beautiful, subtle pop of colour. Does that make sense? Like it although it's subtle, it's still a really lovely pop of colour. The thing as well that I love is it's got the really thick wide strap. Actually I think I featured this in a vlog. Yeah, I definitely featured this in a vlog. So if you saw the vlog, you completely know what I'm on about. Um, I also have it in black, <laughs> which, you know, I think the black is classic, it's, you know, something which is never going to go out of fashion, um, but out of the black and the orange at the moment, I'm currently loving the orange a bit more because it's a bit more different and it really just adds a little bit more spice to an outfit, I don't know. Let me show you it, there you go, oh, even with a grey, even with just a plain grey sweatshirt, it looks fantastic oh i love it i love it so much okay next item it is a dressing gown it is a terry cloth dressing gown which is from h&m i actually got this for my birthday from eli which i love it i love it it feels so nice i love the color it just feels like a really nice kind of premium quality and yeah I just really love the colour, love the texture. I got this one in a size small to medium and it fits me perfectly. I am five foot three, so it does come down quite long on me and the sleeves are kind of long, but I don't mind that because I find that quite cozy um, and it's just nice to kind of wrap up in. This one's a little bit random, um, but it is a makeup bag. So I saw this one on ASOS, it's actually from Topshop. Um, but I bought it on the ASOS website and it's just a plain black leather makeup case but it feels really nice it's actually a really decent size I've actually got quite a lot of makeup in here um, so if you can see right it's falling like it's actually I've got quite a lot on there I've got about three foundations a lot of brushes a lot of concealers you know because I go through phases where I try different ones um, and it just yeah it's, i've still got room at the top as well to put more in i don't know it's just quite a plain simple makeup bag which i quite like it just kind of looks it's not in your face 
does the job. You know it's going to last because it's leather. Um, so, yeah. So the next two items are my go-tos for my skincare every morning. I'm going to start off with the first one. So the first one that I'm going to show you is the Body Shop Drops of Youth. This is the packaging here. And it comes in a little green bottle like this. I don't even know if it's focusing on that. Hey ho. And it's got the little, is it a pipette? I think it's a pipette, isn't it? So then it says, instantly skin appears fresher, smoother and more supple. And then day after day, pores look refined, lines appear smoothed and skin feels fresher, bouncier and healthier. Um, which is true. I have found that. This has honestly made my skin feel, it, it says, it, what it says on the box is what it's doing. It makes my skin feel so much more smooth. It feels like a really nice, just easy canvas to apply my foundation on or moisturiser. So after I've done the Body Shop Drops of Youth, I then apply my moisturiser. My go-to moisturiser is, again, I don't know how to pronounce this. I struggle every time. It's either Esper or Esper. My friend India, she calls Esper. If I say Esper, I don't know. Um, but it is the 24-hour replenishing moisturiser. If you've been following my videos for a while, then I don't know whether you would have seen or watched it. But I mentioned that I have really, really dry skin. Um, so I've always kind of struggled with like makeup um and even just moisturizers that actually suit my skin type this one is perfect for that it really just looks in the moisture and i've always wanted to have like a really nice kind of oh, this is where i struggle to say it now dewy dewy a dewy look i think i nailed it i struggle to pronounce stuff okay so don't come at me but I like a really kind of fresh look on the, you know, on your face for makeup and I've always struggled to achieve that. Um, but with this, I think I'm achieving it. Like, look, I've got it on today. What do we think? Do I look dewy? Dewy. <laughs> dewy. <laughs> I'm just embarrassing myself now. Um, but I'm not even kidding you, throughout the whole day, my skin just feels moisturised. You know, I haven't actually found any other moisturiser that's made my skin feel like that. Um, so I love it. I honestly love it. So I buy a lot of homeware. It's one thing that I I love doing. I love buying interior pieces, um, love finding new items. It's something that I find really hard to control myself over. <laughs> Especially kitchenware. I love buying beautiful ceramic plates, bowls, mugs, glassware. I find it really hard to stop myself. So this is where I show you these really cool glasses that I bought, which are here. They're kind of like wonky. Don't get me wrong, I don't think these are going to be everyone's kind of cup of tea, but I personally love them. But they're just really like, I just think they're so cool because they're like a really unusual, irregular wonky shape and it's got a solid bottom as well so these are great they were a pack of two they cost me eight pounds which i think is really really cheap for some cool glasses and yeah i really love them and i've been having all my drinks in them recently and they just they're a bit annoying they're a bit more cooler than you just your bog standard glass which again i don't know whether everyone would appreciate that but i do i appreciate a weird cool glass okay <laughs> caramel lattes in a box life changing for me I think I'm just quite lazy the thing I like about these is that it's literally a sachet let me show you it's literally just one sachet empty the sachet into the mug pour the water give it a mix and then I just do a little splash of milk as well and it is so easy they taste great it's I love them. There's so many other flavours you can get. Normally I get caramel, which is this one, or a vanilla. Um, and I think you can get like a toffee nut, you can get a mocha, you can get cappuccinos. There's so many different flavours and Eli laughs at me for getting these, but I just love them and yeah, I am obsessed. And it would feel wrong if I didn't feature them in this video. So caramel lattes. 
Okay, so then the last thing that I am going to include on my current favourites, or monthly favourites for February, is not a physical item that I can show you. But I can tell you, and those words <laughs> are the Vampire Diaries. <laughs> Again, I mentioned this in my vlog, um, but I... I've been loving The Vampire Diaries recently. My mum, she started watching it and she was like, Chloe, you need you need to start watching it. Just watch the first episode and you'll be hooked. And I was like, no, mum. I was like, I don't want to. I was like, I know there's a lot of series. I was like, I think there's eight series, mum. I was like, I just don't think I can watch all that. I was like, I don't want to watch all that. You know, my mum, she loves all that like, kind of supernatural stuff and a bit of romance and that's right on my street as well. I love all that kind of stuff and she that's why she was like Chloe you will love it basically gave in watched the first episode fell in love with it and now I'm hooked <laughs> um it's all I want to watch um it's all I want to do I just want to sit in bed and watch Vampire Diaries when I can't because I've got stuff I need to do but yeah I am loving it at the moment I am oh I've nearly finished season two I'm on season 2, episode 18, um, and I'm pretty sure there's only 22 episodes in that series, so I'm nearly on season, season 3. I, again, I had to include it because it is something that I've just been loving this month, and I hate to admit that I love it. You know, I don't like to admit it, but I do. I can't help but love Vampire Diaries. There we go. But that is everything that I've been using and loving. Um, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day or your week or whenever you're watching this. Um, I really hope you liked my current 10 items that I'm loving at the moment. Of course, I will leave all the links in the description box below. And I will catch you guys very soon.